Hi gorgeous, I'm Jackie Dixon and you're watching VLX TV. I'm here in downtown Toronto in the historic distillery district and I want to talk to you today about the blessing of personal responsibility. Now if you're like me that sounds like a paradox. How could personal responsibility possibly be a blessing? But here's the thing, you may have heard the idea that responsibility can be broken down into two words, response, ability. We have the ability to respond to things. So even when life isn't necessarily going our way, we have the power to choose our response and that can make a huge difference in our overall quality of life and in what we're able to accomplish. But there's another side of this, because personal responsibility doesn't just have to do with our ability to respond. It also has to do with our ability to act. Now there's a lot in the Bible about the importance of us taking action. Of course, there's also a lot in there about being still and waiting on the Lord's timing and letting Him fight for us. Now I think those are both important, but they're simply for different times of our lives. And how do we know when God wants us to take action and when He wants us to wait on Him? We spend enough personal time in prayer with Him that He can speak to us and give us that overall sense. But I think there's a little bit of a problem in that many of us, I think, are often always waiting on God. And we don't realize how much He wants us to take action to bring His purposes about. When I was starting this company, I had the dream of it for many, many years. But it took me a while to take action. And part of that was because I really felt God was kind of going to do it for me. And that was me waiting on Him and being in His will. But one morning when I was getting up and I kind of looked up to God to kind of touch base for the day and see if He had anything to kind of convey to me, I really felt strongly, get out of bed <laughs> and get started. And I was honestly surprised. I thought, really, He was going to lay out the red carpet and just do the work for me. But it hit me very strongly. That's when I realized that we are co-creators with God. And if we're going to make something happen that is His will for us, we need to get up and do it. Now there's so much in the Bible that tells us to act and to take initiative and that God will follow through, but we have to get started. From knock and the door will be opened to you. Seek and you shall find. Ask and you shall receive. All of those start with commands to begin the action. We take the initiative and He follows up. Now why is this such an amazing thing? Because having the ability to act, whether to respond well or to take initiative and start something we know we're called to, gives us tremendous power. Now I think often that can be terribly scary and that's one of the reasons why we don't start. We sabotage ourselves because if we don't ever start, we feel that we can't ever fail. But that holds us back from so many possibilities and often from our biggest calling. So I want to encourage you to figure out one or two things that you think or suspect that God may be calling you to and take action. Another fear I think we have is that we think we could head out in the wrong direction. But if you surrender your life to God and offer your efforts to Him, He will detour you and guide you as you go. But you do need to begin. So whatever that may be, whether it's taking better care of your body, whether it, maybe it's starting a business, maybe it's just cleaning your home, maybe like me it's just getting out of bed and getting started on what you already know you're supposed to be doing. Don't underestimate the incredible role that God has allowed you to play in bringing His calling for you about. Get up, take action, knock on the door, and it will be opened. That's all for this week, beautiful. Thanks so much for joining me here. If you liked this video, share it with your friends and subscribe. And until next time, God bless you.